everyone, Uncle Jesse here. This video might have a little bit more background noise than typical because I'm 3D printing something here right next to me on the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, but we're not here to talk about what I'm 3D printing. We're here to talk about what Bamboo Lab teased this morning, which is a brand new 3D printer. And we're gonna talk about what that potentially could be and why this could be very exciting. Now with that little teaser that they released this morning, some people were speculating and I even thought that, oh, is this the larger version of the X1 that a lot of folks were asking about? But I believe in the past, Bamboo Lab has stated that they're not intending on making a larger version of this machine just yet. And I even saw some folks commenting that they thought maybe they're gonna be branching out and making a resin 3D printer, which I would be very excited about. From the screenshot, it definitely didn't look like that was gonna be the case. It definitely looked like it was still gonna be this style of a FDM 3D printer. And thanks to some of you crazy folks here on the internet, you decided to parse through the Bamboo Lab website code and found another image that clearly represents what this machine potentially will be once it's officially announced, which seems to be a simplified version of the X1 here, minus all the things like the side paneling and the front doors. And if you look closely, it doesn't look like there's a LiDAR scanner on the extruder. The other big standout from that image is it appears Appears like there's no touch screen and just having a standard, I'm assuming it looks like it's some sort of a dial type interface that you see on a lot of other 3D printers out there. I'm also gonna assume that we're not gonna have that internal camera, the side mounted fan, or that internal light like we find here on the X1 Carbon that's not currently available on the X1 version of this printer. Now, one other thing that I'm wondering if they're not gonna include on this as well is the Wi-Fi capabilities. If it's not gonna be Wi-Fi enabled, that you're gonna have to just manually load your sliced files from your printer directly onto the machine itself. And even though this is potentially a cheaper version of our X1 3D printers, I would have to imagine that they're gonna still allow you to add on things like the AMS unit here that's gonna allow you to print in multicolor or even potentially add back on some of those other features like the camera or even maybe Maybe that LiDAR sensor that were previously removed from the initial bundle. Now, one thing that will be very interesting to see is without those side panels in the front and the top and basically all of the panels on the machine, how loud this machine will potentially be. Also, I would have to imagine it's going to limit or at least potentially limit what materials you can 3D print with. And it might be specifically designed for people that are just intending on printing with PLA because all you're gonna end up having are those basic fans on the extruder. One other thing that I'm thinking that they might attempt to do with the cheaper variation of this machine, again, to try and keep the cost point down is all of the X1 and the X1 Carbon printers come almost fully assembled or pretty much entirely assembled. All you have to do is remove a few screws and then plug everything together and you can start printing. I'm wondering if these lower end model here or potential lower end model is gonna end up being a kit version of this printer where you actually have to do some of the assembly yourself. Print's almost done printing as well. This was a quick like uh, 25 minute print here, so fast. This machine just prints so incredibly fast. So this will be really interesting to see, I mean, what this full announcement is when they finally make it. And by the way, this is a, uh, <laughs> a little bobblehead. Oh my God, I think it's too top heavy. It's way too top heavy. I'm gonna have to modify the base to further support that. <laughs> We're gonna have to just wait and see what the actual final announcement is from Bamboo Lab once they actually make that. And I do believe it's gonna be coming sooner rather than later, potentially early this week. Since they teased that and we could already see that people have found the image there on the website, it seems like they're getting things prepped and ready to make that announcement. So one of the things that I saw people asking about was, you know, wh who would they be targeting with this? Well, to me, it's pretty obvious. They're, they're going for a lower price point so that they can attract people that are afraid to jump in or don't want to spend a thousand dollars plus for a 3D printer. If they can get this in at a $500 price point, which I don't think it's going to be at. I think that's way too unrealistic. That's half the price of the X1. A more realistic price point would probably be $700 to $800 that we're going to see for this, which would be if I'm leaning more towards an $800 price point just because it would be a few hundred dollars less 
than the X1 that you can find. So that X1 already has, has a bunch of these things stripped down from the X1 carbon, and it has a, I think it's an all plastic frame that it's working with versus all metal. And at that $800 price point, you're really starting to be competitive with Prusa's MK3S 3D printer kits, as well as Anchor Make, which was another wildly popular Kickstarter 3D printer that's not nearly as fast of a machine as this, but again, that lower price point is gonna attract more people that are on like a thousand dollars is an obscene amount of money. And <laughs> anything under that helps bridge that gap between consumers and wanting to make a purchase. So I can really see this as a potential viable option for a lot of folks out there that are wanting to get started with 3D printing with something that's a good bit more reliable and that prints really fast. Also, I have to assume that they already have all of the components to develop and produce these because it should be just utilizing all the same components that they produced for the X1 series of printers. You're just removing some of the other hardware bits from this. Again, if it's this type of format of it's just a slimmed down, simplified version of their X1 3D printer. But we're not really gonna know, this is all just speculation, until they actually make the announcement as to what it is and what capabilities it has. Regardless, I'm very excited about it, and more than likely you'll be hearing more about it from me as well over on social media sites, assuming things like Twitter is still up and running in the next week or so. <laughs> and I also wanna say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. If you're interested in more information about my Patreon and how you can support me making videos here on the channel, you can find links to that down below in my Patreon. But what do you all think based on the latest and greatest news that's out there on the X1 or this new PIP version of the printer? I also have no idea what that naming convention could potentially be, which would be very interesting and why it's not just the X1 Lite or the X1 Simple. I, I don't know, the X0? I don't know. But let me know down below. Hey, thanks again for watching you all. I'll see you next time.